some big economic news about inflation. You know, inflation. The reason your grandfather is always bragging about, I paid seven cents for a movie ticket in 1972. <laughs> and it was a porno movie, yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, you had to see them in the theaters. Yeah, you couldn't just pull them up on Pub Hub like you kids do. <laughs> you had to remember the scene and go home and try and recreate the feeling. Sometimes you'd see a friend on the way home and you'd have to be like, shut up, Jerry, stop talking. I'm trying to remember the boobs. <laughs> and then I'd finally get home and your grandmother would say, were you at one of those movies again? And I'd say, shut up, Cheryl, I'm trying to remember those boobs. <laughs> and then finally I got to yank my crank and it would be boobs and Jerry and your grandmother in my head. And the point is things cost a lot less back then. <laughs> so yes, inflation. <laughs> It's getting worse, and it's affecting everything. The breaking news this morning, the U.S. Labor Department out with new inflation numbers this morning. They're high, the highest inflation, in fact, rate in the U.S. in more than 40 years. When you look at the sectors, it is gas, it is shelter, it is food, it is used cars. These are numbers that year over year have had big, big increases in prices. This is a situation where just about everything is going up. Eight and a half percent inflation increase year over year. That's a strong, strong number. The highest since December 1981, when Raiders of the Lost Ark was number one at the box office, Ronald Reagan was president, and unemployment was pushing 10 percent. Seriously? This inflation is taking us back to 1981. I don't want to go back to 1981. First of all, there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Secondly, I could never pull off a Jericho, people. <laughs> actually, actually, I take that back. I take that back. Yeah, maybe I can. I don't know. Doesn't look bad. Silk Sonic, you call me, baby. Yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> but yeah, people, because the economy opened up suddenly, and the government gave everyone money. Everyone is spending again, but the supply chain issues, so there's not enough products for the people to buy, and that drives the prices up. And then on top of that, Vladimir Putin decided that, oh, now would be a nice time to Airbnb Eastern Ukraine by force, raising oil prices, which makes everything more expensive. And that's what's happening. It's gonna happen to all of us. And so because of all of that, inflation is rising faster or higher than the price of Bitcoin, you know, which is, Sorry, wait, no, no, Bitcoin's down again. Sorry, my bad, ignore that, ignore that. <laughs> so, ba wait, oh, it's up again, it's up again. It's the future, all right, it's the future. So, the point is, wait, it's down again. Which, which got, is it a scam or is it the future, guys? The point is, everything has gotten expensive. So expensive that even Bed Bath & Beyond coupons are starting to get all cocky with us. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Who's the junk mail now? <laughs> yeah. You used to throw me away. I guess my 20% offer isn't clogging up your mailbox anymore, is it? Mother f <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> ah. Here's the thing, man. Inflation is bad for everybody, right? It doesn't just hurt your wallet. It makes life harder for people. And it makes you feel crazy, you know? Because you'll be in the store and you'll be like, yesterday this avocado was $3, now it's 6 Are you gaslighting me, avocado? <laughs> The only thing that gets better because of inflation is small talk. That's the only thing that improves in life. Yeah, because at least now, you can talk about something else other than the weather. <laughs> yeah, price of cheese is up again, huh? <laughs> Man, it's getting crazy. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> cheese. All right, but let's move on. You know what's funny? You guys have been in that elevator and you've been that person. <laughs> you've been that person. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let's move on to someone who is definitely not affected by inflation, Elon Musk. <laughs> billionaire businessman and proud African American. <laughs> One of Musk's favorite things to do is get high and post trolly memes on Twitter. But recently, he transformed himself into the most powerful Twitter troll of all time. You see, Musk recently bought enough stock to make him the company's largest shareholder. Yeah, and apparently, he was supposed to join the board of directors as well. But now, for some reason, there's been a change of plans. 
Elon Musk deciding not to join Twitter's board of directors. That's according to Twitter's CEO. But even as an outsider, Musk may still be able to influence the company. His decision means he's no longer limited to owning just about 15% of Twitter. That would have been a condition if he had joined the board. Now some analysts suggesting he could bolster his stake and eventually establish control of the company. Yeah, that's right. Elon Musk has his sights set on Twitter. And whether or not he decides to take it over, you do realize he is still the largest shareholder, which means... Twitter is his baby now. Yeah. That means any minute he's going to rename it TW ampersand Zeta. <laughs> 69. <laughs> and look, I know a lot of people don't like Elon Musk. They think he's controversial, all these things. I, I will say this, man. One thing you have to admit is that he makes being a billionaire look fun. You know? <laughs> no, it has its perks. Elon was annoyed by Twitter, and so what did he do? He bought it. <laughs> yeah, tell me we all wish we didn't have that power, huh? <laughs> Imagine if when the airline told you that you were bumped from your flight, you could just buy the airline. <laughs> As opposed to now, where we just act like there's anything we can do. <laughs> oh, oh, really? The flight's overbooked? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna buy another seat <laughs> on a less convenient flight. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna know my name. Are you, can I get my money back first? I need to move it over to the... 14 days? I can't wait 14 days to get my money back. Now, apparently, one of the things Elon wants to change about Twitter is he wants to stop the censorship of conservative voices. And there's even speculation that he could force Twitter to let Donald Trump back onto the platform. Uh... Yeah. Oh, you guys don't like Donald Trump? Oh. <laughs> I didn't make a note of that. All right. And you have to admit, getting Trump back on Twitter would be weird, guys. I mean, he, he think about it, he's so behind. <laughs> like, he's got like a whole year of hot takes that he saved up. He's gonna come back on the planet. We're like, apparently there's a big ship stuck in the Suez Canal. <laughs> what a loser. I like ships that don't get stuck. <laughs> Fresh take. <laughs> All right, but let's move on to another global problem, COVID-19. Here in America, life has pretty much returned to normal, as cases have fallen drastically around the country. You know, you don't even have to cancel plans as a safety precaution anymore. You can just go back to canceling plans because you don't actually like any of your friends. <laughs> but, but in parts of China right now, COVID is actually infecting more people than ever before. And in Shanghai, one of the most populous cities in the country, Chinese authorities are taking some of the most extreme measures you've ever seen to try and keep COVID under control. China's biggest city, Shanghai, remains eerily empty. 26 million people under a massive COVID lockdown. Relying on government deliveries and anger is soaring. Social media showing videos of protests over food and medicine, a supermarket ransack. At a building where residents have been locked down for two weeks, they shout, we only want supplies. Why are you beating people? Some citizens in the authoritarian nation are losing it, defying the lockdown by screaming from their apartment windows into the night. It's straight out of a dystopian sci-fi movie. Some people are yelling out, we're starving. At night, between the high rises, a drone tells people to follow COVID rules and bizarrely not to sing on their balconies. Wow. You know, every time you think you know what oppression is, China takes things to, to a whole new level. They really do. Yeah, because like everyone in the US is like, how dare you tell me to wear a mask when I go to Walmart? And people in China are like, you're allowed to go to Walmart? <laughs> I mean, they even have a drone flying around telling people it's against COVID rules to sing on their balcony. That's terrifying. And also, why didn't we have that drone when they were making that Imagine video, huh? <laughs> I mean, at least, at least the drone is telling everyone not to sing, though, you know? Yeah, it, it, would be, it would be way worse if it was just like targeting one guy like, Mr. Wong, please, you can't hit those high notes. Shut up. <laughs> because I don't care what anyone says. This is insane. Yes, COVID is a serious disease. Yes, we need to be careful. But if people are locked in their apartments, starving, surely that's worse, right? The solution cannot be worse than the problem, you know? It's like a pilot crashing a plane because the in-flight movie was terrible. <laughs> oh, don't worry, folks. Morbius can't hurt you in the afterlife. Thank you so much for flying. <laughs> and people... I don't want to make anyone panic. I really don't. 
really knowledge. But have you ever wondered why China has the most extreme reactions to COVID in the world? Like, I, I just found myself wondering this. Every country in the world, every other country is now like, it's time to move on. Let's do it, we're done. COVID is finished. And China's like, no, it is not time to move on. <laughs> and that has me wondering. <laughs> what do they know that we don't? <laughs> Ah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> All right, our final story is about self-driving cars. You know, someday they'll usher in a utopian future where we can all text and drive without wiping out a family of four over a meme our friends have already seen. <laughs> but for now, smart cars are still in testing mode. And it seems like there are a few kinks that still need to be worked out. And we turn now to California and a bizarre encounter between police and a driverless car. This morning, this video going viral, showing a self-driving car being pulled over by police in San Francisco. This is crazy. The car was pulled over because it was driving at night without headlights on. At first, it looks like an ordinary traffic stop. An officer gets out of his car to speak to the driver, only to discover... Ain't nobody in it. And then the car speeds away from the officers, passing through an intersection. That was amazing. That driverless car just drove away from the cops. <laughs> it's, those, it's just like it just drove away. Yeah, it may be a computer, but it's got the confidence of a white person. That was, that was swag. I don't have the time for this, officer. Send me the ticket in the mail. Now, apparently the company who owns this car, they say it was a glitch. That's why that happened. It's not supposed to do that. But I think we all know what happened here, man. That car had weed and was freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> You could see that car was like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> act cool, act cool, act cool. Hello, officer, shit, drive, 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 drive. <laughs> and you realize this is only gonna happen more. It's only gonna happen more. As more driverless cars become more common, this is gonna happen, which puts police in a weird position. I wouldn't wanna be a cop in that position. Like, a driverless car starts acting up. What do you do? Do you tase it? That's just gonna charge the battery. It makes things worse. <laughs> and this is how you know the robot takeover is inevitable, people. The autonomous cars are already disrespecting human authority figures. Just get ready. Yeah, it starts with them driving away from cops. Next thing is gonna be us in our houses. You're gonna say something to Alexa and she's gonna be like, play your own music, bitch. <laughs> this is the future we've been waiting for, people. If a driverless car breaks the law, there's no one to punish it. What are you gonna do? Arrest a corporation? Laws don't apply to them. It's the perfect crime. You can't do anything. By the way, I heard you snort. That was amazing. <laughs> All right. These are things you don't get without an audience. That, was, that made my week. Thank you very much. All right, before we take a break, let's catch up with what's trending on social media with the one and only Ronnie Chang, everyone. Thank you. Good to see you, Ronnie. Good to see you, so Trevor. Long. Thanks, everyone. It's good to see you guys in studio. Thanks yeah. for coming out. It's the best. I just want to talk about this Elon Musk thing real quick, yeah. okay? Elon Musk buying Twitter, amazing. Yeah. I love it. Because who better to fix the most toxic environment known to humanity than Elon Musk, <laughs> right? Wait, you don't what? send a normal person to go do a social path job, okay? <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie. I love this. Ronnie, you, that makes you can't love this. Elon yeah. Musk is like a giant troll. No, no, that's what you need. You need only a giant troll can defeat other trolls. <laughs> It's genius. No, you get it. Come on. It's, it, he's a smart guy. It's a South African thing, you know? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's you. It's Oscar Pistorius. You know, they got the, they got the plan. That's a plan. He, you know he doesn't do things for no reason, okay? Look, let, look at all the pieces. Look at the pieces he's putting together, okay? He's got the uh, Tesla cars. He's got the solar power. He's got SpaceX. He's drilling the holes. He's got the brain chips. He's... <laughs> Smoking weed with Joe Rogan, he's tanking SNL, now he's buying Twitter. Don't you see the plan? What, what is the plan? No, no, I'm asking you, do you see the plan? Because I, no, I, I don't no, see the 
You idea asking me like you know the plan. Doing, yeah. I was hoping you had some insight. No, I don't know. That, but I don't look, know what he's, he's doing. Guy, okay? Ronnie, can you just tell us what's trending online, please? You said you're gonna do social media. All right, all right, fine. You want me to read the tweets? I'll read yeah, the read the tweets. tweets all right, okay. All right, let's read this tweet. Wow, what a, what an insightful tweet this is. <laughs> Happy Friday to all my followers. Oh wow. Thank you for this poignant message. What a modern day Shakespeare. I wouldn't have thought of celebrating my Fridays until I read this. I thought it would make the people happy. It's just like, you know, it's like, happy Friday, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's not what you do on Twitter, okay? Twitter is for hate. <laughs> okay, you don't post this stuff, you gotta be controversial. What, what you should say something like, you should say something like, Fridays are racist. <laughs> okay, that's the most ridiculous thing. Fridays are not racist. Now we're talking about it. See, it's engagement. No, Fridays are not racist. Fridays, Fridays, are, Fridays racist. are racist. Yes, this powers me. No, what yes. the hey, hey. Yes. Fridays are not racist. You can't just say Fridays are racist. racist. Engagement. No, this is not engagement. This is crazy. What are you talking about? <sighs> That's what it's about. Okay, you gotta go. Gotta go hard. Okay. Oh, I don't even understand oh, why my and, tweet is up there. I thought you're gonna do like social media in general. What is social? media? Yeah. Okay. By the way, what's up with this profile picture? Okay, because. <laughs> You look like you're taking a shit at the Met Gala. <laughs> you got to do the squats. Come on, you can learn the pose. No, that was it was a photo shoot, and then they asked me to do that thing. Yeah, this is a choice. Okay, you chose to do this. <laughs> okay, should so rename your book uh, "Born a Fashion Crime." No, what? Is, uh, that I th I think that that looks good. You know, Ronnie, I thought we were friends, man. Yeah. You just gonna diss my tweets like no, that? No, we are friends. That's why I'm gonna give you the opportunity to retweet my new comedy special that's out. That you could coming out. Oh, so can, now, yeah. so now my tweets are worth something. Yeah. Oh, now. Yeah, oh, by the way, uh, happy, happy Tuesday. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Ronnie's new special, everybody.